This weird habit is one of the most common signs of brain cancer, according to neurologists. Parade. If in doubt, see a doctor. Below are your comments. Feb of this year left side of brain, a golf ball sized tumor. She could walk but couldn't communicate. Took her to her, hour later looking of brain scan. She had no headaches, just slight memory loss. We are both in our 60s. Two days later tumor is out. DRs think it came from her bladder cancer two years back. Radiation and chemotherapy and everything else we still have a long road. That's why she couldn't communicate, the tumor was pressing up against brain and started bleeding and that shut down her speech. Two HS friends of mine were diagnosed with brain cancer over the last few months. Rob had colon cancer that migrated to his brain and he is still in therapy fighting it. He is doing pretty good it seems, he is still running 4 miles a day and looking pretty good. John a kid that lived next door to me in Portland, had surgical removal of a cancerous brain tumor. About eight weeks ago and then radiation therapy, as of his last checkup yesterday he appears to free of cancer. My adoptive mother was diagnosed with a cancerous brain tumor just after they adopted us and moved us to Portland. She also went through surgical removal and radiation therapy and was free of cancer. My first daughter Carrie Ann born in 93 was born with brain cancer in the cerebellum and she went T. Rue chemo, she did not make it and died as an infant. We had five healthy children after her though, four boys and our youngest Sierra. We kept trying until we got another daughter. Not a pleasant thing to go through, but the advances in modern medicine have really improved the OD. DS of survival. Doctor gave me six months to live, told him I couldn't pay my bill, so he gave me another six months. When I was 30, I unexpectedly had a seizure shortly after going to bed, my husband found me shaking and unconscious and a CT scan at the ER revealed that I had an egg-sized cyst on my brain. I went to a very prominent neurosurgeon at MD Anderson in Houston and although I didn't have cancer in his career, he'd never seen anything like what I had. The conclusion was it was something I was born with and grew large enough to put pressure on my brain, N, triggering the seizure. I never had headaches, blurry vision, loss of balance, nothing. It was called a pendimal cyst and was filled with spinal fluid. Well, you can check for tumors in your brain with X-rays, CT scans or MRI. The problem is that you cannot do them routinely like a colonoscopy or a mammogram, and the plan will. L put a million excuses to deny coverage of such expensive checkups unless you're practically having seizures. Please subscribe to my channel. And if you like it, please thumbs up.